Before the arrival of Europeans Before the arrival of Europeans on the territory now known as Brazil, various indigenous cultures already existed. Portugal, under the command of Pedro Alvarez Cabral, was the first European nation to reach the shores of this new land in 1500. This marked the beginning of the era of European influences on this region. Colonization and Slavery Portuguese colonization of Brazil began, bringing with it traditions, language, and Christianity. The development of the colony was accompanied by the mass importation of slaves from Africa to work on plantations, forming the basis for the development of the Brazilian economy. Slavery persisted until 1880, eight when abolition was declared. Independence and Empire In 1822, the son of the Portuguese king, Dom Pedro I, proclaimed Brazil's independence from Portugal, becoming its first emperor. This marked the end of the colonial era and marked the beginning of the country's independent development. Dictatorship and return to democracy. In the 20th century, Brazil experienced a period of dictatorship and political turmoil. However, in 1985, the country returned to democracy, overthrowing the authoritarian regime and electing civilian leaders. Cultural diversity and nature. Brazil is renowned for its cultural diversity, expressed in music, dance, and traditions. Musical styles like samba and bossa nova have become part of global culture. Brazil's nature is also impressive, including the Amazon rainforest, the diversity of flora and fauna, and the large rivers flowing through the country. Economic and technological development. In the 21st century, Brazil is characterized by its economic and technological development. The country is a leader in the use of renewable energy sources, such as biofuels and hydroenergy, and actively advances in scientific research. Brazil, with its entire history and present, remains a country that attracts global attention with its culture, nature, and economic contributions.